Shema bo wabro ro hayo qadishu hadha loho sharir amin the name the father the son the holy spirit one god forever and ever amin bikh safro to all of you dear brothers and sisters good morning may god bless you all and protect you and be with you i miss you we closed the church for two weeks we uh, had a couple cases not in our church particularly but in our community here so to save everybody to protect everybody so we close all the churches here in paramis or in this area so after two weeks or three weeks being apart from each other so i miss everybody and also i want to say good morning to all uh, our brothers and sisters who are watching us through the social media or YouTube. Tomorrow, dear brothers and sisters, it's 14th of September. And 14th of September, according to our church calendar, is the feast of the discovery of the Holy Cross. And this feast is very, very significant and is very important in our church calendar in general, but also as a feast because almost from maybe a feast of uh, blessing of Virgin Mary, we didn't have any feast maybe until maybe a couple months from now. So this feast has very significant uh, blessing and meaning in the church calendar in general. St. Paul he was talking about the cross and he said for the message or the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God so Saint Paul by saying this he distinguished almost between the people who do believe in the power of the cross and for those people who deny the power or the meaning or the message or the word like the Bible say of the cross. In other words, those who believe in Jesus who die on the cross to save everyone who believes in him and those who still may be searching or try to find the true God. But this feast is a call from God to all of us because before discovery or finding out the wood of the cross also the people they were looking for the cross for too many reasons maybe to prove that the crucifixion was a true event and also to prove that the Christ was really crucified it was not only story the Christian or the follow the follower of the Christ they created so finding or discovering the Holy Cross is very very important in our spiritual life and we rediscovery actually the cross in our life individual is very very important that's why this feast is called to everyone to refine to rediscover the true meaning of the cross in every person's life. When we talk about the cross, by the way, maybe people, they think that we're talking about the cross. But the cross, it's really, or the meaning of the cross really is beyond only this sign. It is the sign of the victory, the sign of the blessing, and it is the source of all the blessing that may be it's hidden in our life somewhere and we don't know where is it. So discovery the Holy Cross, it is called to discover the true meaning of the Holy Cross in our life. And that's why this feast is very important to many aspects. Because a lot of people, they run away from the cross. One of the father, he said, the one who ran from the cross, ran away from the cross, he ran away from God himself. There is very important uh, uh, spiritual book called Following the Christ. In this book, the writer, he said, 
something about the cross. I just want to share it with you. He said, whoever desire to find Christ without the cross, he will find out the cross without Christ. In other words, a lot of us, we want to be Christian. But when it comes to the cross, we don't want it. The cross means maybe suffering for the Christ. The cross maybe means to follow the Christ, holding all the teaching that the Bible teaching us, the fathers of the church they put regarding the fast, the praying, helping the poor, coming to the church, maybe seeing or looking to the whole world from different aspect because the cross made every single suffer we suffer for our faith has a true and very important meaning so that's why a lot of people they want to christ they seek a christ they looking for the christ but they don't want the cross with the christ and at the end those people they will find the cross but without christ so that's why the discovery the holy cross is a lesson spiritual lesson for all of us to say that when we follow the christ we have to be ready to handle and to carry the cross daily in our life this is what jesus himself said at the beginning of the liturgy we read this we said whoever desired to come after me jesus said let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me so without carrying our cross we cannot follow christ otherwise we are going to foolish ourselves a lot of people you see cross in their neck they have maybe cross here as a tattoo. And when you tell them, come to the church, they say, Abuna, we don't have time. This is actually denying to holding or to carrying the cross. When maybe we try to help needy or poor people, a lot of people, they refuse to help. This is also denying to the cross. When we refuse to begin our day by reading the Bible, praying, also this denying to the cross so that's why jesus he said if we don't carry our cross daily and follow him we are not really true or follower christian so that's why we have to understand this meaning in a way that the cross is not only maybe something we put it or we decorate ourselves rather it is maybe to have or to suffer for the Christ on the whole aspect. I was reading a story the other day about uh, a girl. She had an oral test in an university. And this girl, she was the student, she was very true Christian. So she had a cross in her neck, and all the students, her friends, they told her the teacher is very, very hard teacher. And he's not a Christian. If he will see the cross, he will give you a hard time. And we are very sure that he won't make you able to pass the test. She said, I'd rather not to pass the test than to deny Christ and to take the cross just to make him happy. So the time came. She went to the test and the teacher was there. When he saw the cross, he began to mock her, to make fun of her. So he right away point to the cross. He said, I will give you point to the each cross you have. So kind of from 100, he will give her maybe one or two cross. So in other words, he was telling her, no matter what you do, because you are holding the cross, you are going to fall in the class, to fall in the class. So she asked him, are you sure you want to give me one point or one grade for each cross I have? He was laughing. He said, yeah, of course. So he was thinking maybe she has a couple of crosses. So she can 
end up having maybe 10 out of 100. She said, promise me that you will give me point for each grade, for each cross I have. He said, I promise you. Then she opened her purse and she grabbed a big bag of cross. She told him, I'm a Sunday school teacher and I was at the Christian store a couple of days ago. I bought these crosses to give to my student in the class. So she put the crosses in front of him. She said, go count them. And she had 120 crosses. He didn't know what to do. She said, don't forget that you promised me to give me for each cross one point or one grade. So this story, this is a true story, by the way. This story, it tells us something very important, that we should not be ashamed of our cross, not only by carrying it, but by having it also in our heart, in our life. By full Christ daily, no matter what the people they say about us. For too many reasons. Number one, our life too short. Number two, we don't know when we really need real protection. Having the cross is a sign of a protection from diseases, from sickness, from anxiety, from fears, from a lot of things. When I was serving our church in Egypt, one time I was with another priest from there. So there was two people, they came to him. They were possessed by the demon. So when Abuna, he lift up his cross, right away those two people, they fall on the ground. We don't know how powerful is this sign, the sign of the cross. We don't know how much we can use it in our daily life to sign our kids, our homes, our properties, our cars, every single thing we have it. By making this sign, we bless and we ask God to put his power over there and to protect. So discovery, the Holy Cross, is discovery, the power of the cross in our life, in our individual life. Because we have the cross. Maybe we have a cross from Jerusalem, from Holy Land. We have a cross made from I don't know what. We have a cross, it's so expensive. We have it somewhere in the wall in our home or we have very expensive cross from jewelry in our neck. But how much we really benefit from this cross? How much we run to the cross? Because in the cross, Jesus was able to crush the head of the demon, the head of the Satan. So by having faith in this sign, by discovering the power of the cross in our life, we will also be able to crush all kind of trouble that we face in our life. So that's why we need to come to the cross. And when we sign the cross, we sign it with a true faith, with a strong faith, knowing that this sign can protect us and can lead us to the true joy and true happiness. May God protect all of us and be with us. And if you want to know how much the cross is so powerful, you can open YouTube, see some priests, some saints, when they were blessing people to make miracles, they were making this sign. So you also can make this sign with faith to also have miracle in your life. But we have to pay attention that the miracle is not sign for the faith, but carrying our cross daily and follow Christ, this is sign of faith. May God protect you all by the sign of the cross and be with you and protect your family and your life in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit for everlasting life. Amen.